So you guys, the other day I was getting the royal tour of Glenbrook Valley, the mid-century, the mid-century modern neighborhood in Houston, Texas. And I was brought to this house and it's so great, you guys, that I have to show it to you. The house was built, well, we're gonna find out. I'm pretty sure it was 1958. And it is a time travel twilight zone experience of the absolute highest order. Uh oh, look at the mailbox. I know. Whoa, double doors, very glamorama. I know. Very New Orleans. Hi, Joe. Hi, Charles. So, thank you for inviting us in to see your beautiful home. Whoa. What's your name? What's her name? That's Moppy. Me Moppy. I just have to say, Joe, the reason why I came back to see your house again is because I wanted to share it with everybody because it is so spectacular. Should we take a tour? Sure. So you've got this incredible living room set. Look at that, you guys, a sectional and that lamp. I love all of your, all of your stuff and you've got a lot of electronics too. One of the things that really led me into the whole thing in the first place was my first vintage color television. This is my second color TV from the 50s. This is a 58 RCA. 58 RCA. Color TV, it says it right there. RCA Victor! You guys, where do we begin to behold the glory? Surprise alert. What is that? This is the remote control. It's a remote control. A multi-function remote control. It turns it off and on, mutes the sound, and changes the channels. Wow, look at that, you guys. Remote control in 19, was, is, you said 58? 1958. I love your dining room. This mural, your dining room set, and the china cabinet is full of California pottery. Yeah. And you've got your barware. Yeah. And matching pitcher, how yeah. rare. Pitcher goes with the tumblers, yeah. And of course your ice bucket, very atomic. And to go with your Chinese modern dining table, these beauties. It's kind of a challenge doing like the, the Asian thing with the plantation theme, but somehow it seemed to work. To me, it is all a perfect blend. Plus this television. Well, you have to be able to watch the evening news while you're having dinner. I mean, at times, it was the 50s. And it's, oh, it's an RCA too, isn't it? Yes. Oh, it is right there. I was looking for it. There it is, RCA Victor, 1958 on that. That one's a 57 model. 57, okay. Look at that, a little perfect trio of, I call this bikini lamp style, don't you? Okay, you guys, five, four, three, two, one. Isn't that gorgeous? I know. And your kitchen. So you told me the other day they did a remodel in 1974? Yeah, it was in the early 70s, and basically it was a cosmetic thing, and all they did was they stained the cabinets dark, and they put this wallpaper insert in it and added the moldings, but you'll notice it's Imperial. Oh yes, Imperial. As is? As is the Dishmaster and Imperial. Can you make this wall work? Oh yeah, sure, these are so cool. So I let's look at the brand right there, Imperial. <laughs> it's actually a Dishmaster Imperial. Dishmaster Imperial. Let me tell you, I just got this, I just found it. And you can still buy these things new, but I found an original 59. But I just couldn't, I could not pass it up. So what does it do? So you pull up the diverter and now you have a spray through your brush. Now, when you push down this red button, it lets soap come out. Oh. See, so when you're washing your, oh, it makes it super easy. And uh, I don't put a lot of things in the dishwasher, my vintage things, my pots and pans. This is great. So. It's beautiful. And we also have to talk about this counter, this gorgeous counter. Where do we begin? Also your refrigerator and stove. Okay, so these are the same models that were originally in the house. They had been removed when I bought the house, and I was lucky enough to find these in Virginia. Um, they are Frigidaire Imperials, and again, I had photos, so I knew that this was what was here. They had cut it out and put in a modern um, oven in its place, and all I had to do was take out the little shelf they put in and slide this one in. Put and it's in. got a broiler? It, well, it has a second oven. Oh, a second now, oven. And the second Excuse oven me. has a splatter-free radium broiler. Splatter-free alert by Frigidaire. I love Frigidaire. A product of General Motors. There it says it right there, you guys, on top of the fridge. Made by General Motors. Like the Cadillac in the driveway. Frigidaire. Frost-proof. I want you to notice this little symbol over here. This was the General Motors 50th anniversary forward into the next 50, into the future. 
uh, logo. This refrigerator was a special model that was for the GM 50th anniversary. It was their very first frost-free freezer. You'll notice you'll never have to defrost this freezer. Frost-proof. And it was the very first one in the spring of 58. And this was a really great find. Again, I had a photo, so I knew what the house had originally. There was a shelf missing from the refrigerator. Once they roll out. Ooh. Well, the shelf that was missing was in my pantry. Because what? Because they had taken the same shelf out of the one that was originally in the house. Hydrator. One of these cool what a miracle that is. This is the picture window hydrator. So that you can at a glance see what vegetables you have available. It will pull out. It will even lift out so that you can carry it wow. over to the sink. Wash your vegetables. How convenient. See? Unbelievable. Take it back to the fridge when you're done. I've never, do you ever see the word utility <laughs> in a refrigerator? Butter and cheese. cheese. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the detail on the handle, you guys. It's just like a car. Okay, this phone. Look at that cord, you guys. So uh, one of the things that really cool about this house is that it hadn't been messed with much. And one of the things that was here was this telephone. And uh, at the time it had a label on the side with all the local telephone numbers for the neighbors. It does work and I do use it. And trust me, I get a lot of spam calls on it, but it's fun when you can go like that. These are, I mean, I remember these from my childhood. My great aunt Maddie and uncle Art had them. What are they? What, what's, do they have a brand? Yeah, they're Chromex. Chromex, and what year are they-ish? I mean, how many years do Gosh, you Gosh, they made them for a long time. I think these are probably from the mid to late 50s. And barley, that's the rare one in yeah, pink. Yeah, that's a really rare one in pink. And of course, my other ones are black, but I had to have the barley one just because it's so unusual. Do you have uh, barley in there? I don't. What do you do with barley? Oh, you cook it. You cook it. You eat it's it. It's a pseudo, but you know, like a barley. And this is fun, it's a grease strainer. See, grease grease strainer. Grease so that you can pour your bacon fat in there and all of the junk stays up here. That's genius. Isn't that fun? That's genius. I love it. These are chafing dishes. This was a gift to me years ago from a very, very, very good friend. They're full of all kinds oh, of stuff. Because that's course. what you do with chafing dishes in your kitchen. But look, and, it's like a sundial. Yes, it is. And who made them? Oven proof. And this says Kenwood. Oh, they're Kenwood. Kenwood. I knew that. Kenwood. And this gorgeous FM AM radio. Yes, my 56 Panasonic. Love with it. all the original tubes and everything. A classic American den. Behold the glory we're going in. This, along with the turquoise kitchen, are why I bought this house. I can see why. I love all your furniture, the pretzel arms, that gorgeous end table right there, you guys. A masterpiece. This is a 1956 RCA 7HF2. This 1956 was, RCA. This was the second to the top of their line. It was about an $800 hi-fi in 1956. And it's also one of my favorite things. Top of the line in 1956. And in 1958, it was updated to stereo. Oh. And the, the factory modification were sent in. They, at, they changed the tone arm to a stereo tone arm so it could play stereophonic records. It's mono, but it will play the stereo records. This thing is crazy good. And look at this. Oh. That cabinetry. The epitome of mid-century modern. Do those little lights work on the bottom yes, there? Yes, they do. And they show you whether it's in radio mode, tape mode, or phono mode. And they're all different colors as well. Unbelievable. And the legs, you guys. Don't you love those legs? I love this art, too. That was a giveaway. And I thought, you know, I could, I'm could. i going to find something to do with that. And what about this one over here? Okay, so this is actually... This is a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder player that was the companion piece to make that piece stereo. Because it's 1958 and we're gonna to wanna to know what our 59 cars are. I love your pole lamp there. Gorgeous, this comedy tragedy lamp, spellbinding. The flagstone of the fireplace. You always know what time it is. And whoa. Now this TV is what started all of this, really. I bought this TV in about 1984. It was about to become an aquarium, and oh. I saved it. Oh, and this. for years, this was my main television. And again, it's, it, this is also an early, it's a 50s color TV. It's a CTC9, but it was blonde, and I had nothing that was blonde at the time. So I built a living room around it in my old house. And then one thing led to another and another, and of course, here we are. Here we are. 
The Bayou Building sign is something that I've had for many, many years. It uh, is something that I inherited, so it's even more special. The building itself still exists, but like so many things in the 90s, it was D50s. And uh, this sign was, it's porcelain enamel with aluminum letters, and it was um, on the side of the building. A friend of mine saved it, and then years later, uh, I inherited it from him. <laughs> oh, you got a little starburst happening there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the light. Oh, so uh, show us the magic trick it does. Well, you might be playing cards or something, and you may need your light down low. So you can, uh, you can lower it adjust it to hover at any height that you so desire. But normally you'd have it up out of the way so you don't bump your head. Love it. And the pattern on it. Can you guys see the pattern? There it is. There's that pattern. And the, yes, I was going to say the little holes in the top are fun. I love it. Also, these amazing stools here. You know, like so many things in this house, they're not perfect, but they're cool. And someday maybe I'll get them redone and maybe not. I. I like the imperfection of so many of these things because they make it infinitely usable. One of the things that people say is that they're comfortable in my house, and I hope that's always true. Um, I know I am. I want it to be interesting, but I want it to be fun. Oh, the hall pictures. That's something else that I collected. Uh, I've been collecting for years. This red one was my grandmother's. What and year is it? It's probably from the late 30s. Late 30s. And then some of those are as new as the 60s. The logo's under the bottom, Barry, so, but they're all hall pictures. More glitter. Yeah. I mean, you guys, the winners have glitter on their ceilings, okay? Glitter. But now, speaking of glitter, you want glamour in the laundry room? Where do we begin to behold the glory <laughs> of my favorite pieces in the entire house and probably, you said, the rarest? Yes, these are my 1958 Maytags. These were top of the line Maytags in 1958 that belonged to one old lady their whole time, and she took very good care of them, thank goodness. This one still has the, the showroom tag on it, explaining what all the features are. And, oh, the showroom tag yeah, right see, there. Right, this is the original showroom tag. Can you believe that it survived all these years? Well, and this one hasn't exactly, but check this out, too. We have a light in the tub so that you can see, if you, you know, you don't want to leave a sock in the washer at the end and forget it so you can tell what's here. It's pink and turquoise. And look at this font, you guys. Very 1939 World's Fair font, <laughs> even though these are from 1958, you said. Yes. And they're pink. Where do we begin to behold the glory? This has been a labor of love. It's been a lot of work in the last four years to just bring it back to what it was. Thank you, Joe Wilson. You're awesome! Well, thank you again for coming to see it. I appreciate it.